Kawasaki on the road, yeah. Yeah. Nigga wanna see me fall. Stephen Curry, how I ball. Gosha garments and a white three on my body. Where a capacity crowd sees the NBA championship struggle between the Minneapolis Lakers and the Boston Celtics. The NBA's most fabled rivalry was born in 1959 when the Celtics beat the Lakers in the finals. The great Boston team goes on to win the National Basketball Association championship. Throughout the 1960s, it seemed as if the teams were meeting every year in the finals. The Boston Celtics are world champions. And each time, Boston was the team celebrating in the end. I hated green for a long time. I wouldn't wear anything green. It just got to the point where it was so frustrating to hear the noise and shouting after games that we had lost. In 1969, L.A. traded for Wilt Chamberlain, the game's most dominant force. And they were sure that this would finally be the year they'd beat Boston. The owner of the Lakers put out a sheet in all the seats when the Lakers win the championship, the USC band would play Happy Days Are Here Again. The balloons and the rafters would fall down, and Chick Hearns would interview Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, and Wilt Chamberlain in that particular order. When the players came in, I, I, I read it to all of them. I says, one thing that cannot go on, the Lakers cannot beat us. They can't beat us. But it's going to be fun to watch them get those balloons out one at a time. Helped by Don Nelson's miracle shot, the balloons stayed in the rafters as Boston won again. All over. And there they go. They won it again. Bill, this must have been a great win for you. One more time. One more time. Fifteen years later, Bird and Magic would revive this intense rivalry. I hate it, Larry. No other word to really use. And I dislike the Celtics. As the 1984 finals began, Magic looked to end the Boston jinx. This has to be one of the most decisive rounds in championship game history. Today, when uh, we see Magic slapping high fives and uh, guys going behind her back and shooting layups on us all day long, it seems that somebody would try to put a stop to it. But until we get our hearts uh, where they belong, we're in trouble. It would be up to Bird to sound the Celtic rallying cry. The Boston Celtics are the NBA world champions. One year later, the Lakers would find themselves back in Boston. Magic! Larry's gonna kill you! There's no magic in here! But this time, L.A. would make history by becoming the first Laker team to beat Boston. Answered the Celtics' true grit with a fierce, determined performance. That whole mental and historical thing, the, the jinx, whatever have you, it, it all died at that point. Does America believe in magic? You bet we do. <laughs> and when LA beat Boston again in 1987, magic even made a believer out of Burr. Maddie's just a great basketball player. He's the best I've ever seen, you know. I... Unbelievable. I don't know what to say. It took 21 years for the teams to meet again in the finals, and in 2008, the Celtics beat the Lakers for their 17th NBA title. <laughs> Last year, the Lakers added a 15th title to their collection. Now, 21 years later, the teams meet again. The Lakers versus Celtics have always been very intense rivals, and it's because of the people and the players that have come before all of us. You know, if there's one history you know about, it's definitely the Celtics and the Lakers. I'm in this motherfucker. Turn up, take the odds on 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 the odds